there's something to the transition from summer to fall. We're seeing the beautiful, hot, invigorating sun slowly transition, start to die off. The breezes are coming in. Trees are starting to die. Leaves are falling. And with all of that, I guess, life to death, we're seeing the opposite of that, the antithesis of that in the baseball season. We're seeing playoff baseball finally start to be born. And yesterday, the first day of fall, coincidentally, was the day the Yankees clinched playoff berth. Are the goals way bigger than that? Sure. But it's a good start. Donaldson, walk-off base hit. He's finally starting to hit. Three hits yesterday. I think he's on a six-game hitting streak, I want to say. Uh, I still don't understand why he's batting fourth as a guy with 14, 15 home runs. But listen, it is what it is. And yet the the real focus on the entire game, every moment of the game, is Aaron Judge. Is he going to hit 61? When is he going to hit it? Uh, and I really thought he got that home run in the bottom of the ninth. That Fox cameraman should just straight up be fired. I mean, they, they panned up to the sky as if it was a 480-foot bomb off the black, off the windows. And it was it was a fly out to the track, obviously, to Kike. So... Listen, it is what it is. Uh, this team, I think the magic number is six. We're going to hopefully be the two seed, and I don't think they're cut out for it. Personally, the bullpen is in shambles. I don't want to see Chapman ever again in any situation. I don't care if we're up by seven. It is it is painful to watch him battle and, and not throw strikes and, and just labor and sweat. He's always sweating all over the place. I'm, I'm tired of him. I'm done with him. We're going to see what we get with Britton when he comes back. Uh... He's on the active roster now. Guy hasn't pitched him forever, and he was shaky when he did. Uh, my my recent memory of him is him giving up that bomb uh, in the uh, in the the Field of Dreams game, which was miserable. But uh, if he's right, the guy's awesome. So let's hopefully th- that'll hopefully be a little bit of a boost. F Ross back. Uh, I'm so over Clay Holmes as well. If Judge doesn't make a play of a throw of a lifetime. Another leadoff double for for Clay Holmes. I mean, the guy is a complete shell of himself of the first half. But the good. I, I, let me give you some good things, in my opinion. Stanton, although it's not proven yet, is finally starting to turn it back on, starting to hit a little bit. That base hit he hit was more impressive than the home run. That thing was a missile up the middle. And uh, I I love Cabrera. I think he's going to be a great piece in the playoffs. He plays everywhere. He he puts the bat on the ball. He's got some pop. Uh, who who else do I? Oh, and I mean, let me let me get started on on the best player of the team. Forget about Aaron Judge. Move over Judge. Move over Stanton. Uh, Harrison Bader is a god. Let me tell you right now, Harrison Bader. From the moment they traded for him, I was I actually remember where I was when they traded for him. That's how that's how much I love this guy. Okay, first of all, he looks like Scott Kahn with the fucking short hair. He's killing it with the short hair. Guy is a, a, a ball of energy. The way he he gets himself and positions himself under fly balls to throw them to to throw, throw out guys is unreal. The Statue of Liberty glove he's got now is incredible. Uh, he's already fit right in. He's got RBIs in his first three games. He's batting 400 as a Yankee. You could already tell he's liked in the clubhouse. The post game after his first game, when when uh, Judge hit 60 and then Stanton hit the the walk up grand slam, he's he's first of all he's wearing. Short sleeve, like floral button down, tat leaking out the side of his chest. He's got a black retro Apple upside down logo, and he's talking about how home runs are, are being referred to as sweet swipes. I mean, the guy, not only is he from New York, he's like from New York, but he's like a Cali guy. The guy is everything this team needed. I hate Cashman, I think he should be fired, but. That was one of the better moves. Montgomery, don't get it twisted. He pitched here for so long, he never did well. I don't care. He was always right around average, right a little bit above average, a little bit below average. When the team would give him runs, he'd give up runs. When they wouldn't give him runs, he'd pitch well. The second he leaves the team, what do you know? He starts pitching well with the with the Cardinals. And actually, after, uh, over his last like six starts, I think, he's come back down to earth. He's got a over, uh, I think his ERA is over four. So, Bader's everything we needed. Give Judge some rest off his legs. Not he doesn't have to play center anymore. Let him showcase his arm and right as he did in the in the uh, what was that the top of the ninth inning of of yesterday and great addition. So I think top to bottom, obviously Judge batting leadoff is a huge huge plus now because the guy's OBP is like it's basically over five hundred the last the last month and a half. So if you can get him on consistently, he's getting walks all the time. Guys are pitching around him. Boom. 
Rizzo kind of protecting him is a little bit wonky right now. I, I think he's got to find himself, but he does have 31 bombs. He's, he's having a decent year, and he plays an incredible, incredible first base. Big leader, obviously, and he's also huge. I mean, every time you see the dugout, Rizzo and Judge are next to each other. They're buddy-buddy. We love to see that. So Rizzo is, is, what, he, is what he is. Hoping to get DJ back, uh, but uh, he, I don't know, that thing looks like it's going to linger until after the uh, after the offseason. But uh, Glaber's finally very hot. I don't know if that's going to last, but it's good to see. And then Donaldson again. I mean, I, I know it, this this is a very roller coastery season, especially with the first half the way it was and how August went, uh, how bad it was. But uh, Donaldson finally looks like he's hitting a little bit, which is which is a huge, huge help. I mean, they haven't had him all year. So if he could contribute in any way, uh, that would be a that would be a big pick me up, uh, and then Stanton, like I said, hitting well. Listen, the 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 big issue with the Yankees always has been the hitting. I don't want to hear about starting pitching in the playoffs. It's always been good enough. The bullpen's always been good enough. Besides Chapman, it's always been the hitting. So none of this talk matters. I can break down every single player in the lineup. None of it's going to matter until they hit in the playoffs and. That's going to be the difference maker between if they win a World Series or not. Because if they hit, they're going to win the World Series. If Stan hits how he always hits in the playoffs, if Judge is 2022 Judge in the postseason right now, this year, and then you got big contributions from the rest of the, the, the seven guys, I can't see them losing. Especially if Garrett Cole pitches decently. Nestor does what he does. Sevy, that's another thing. Sevy looked great. I he's he is I know he's underperformed a lot in the playoffs and he's also been like very up and down. You don't really know what you're getting sometimes. He is such a competitor. He's such a I just love watching him pitch and I think that a guy with that much heart and balls is a guy you just root for every single time he's on the mound. So I, I, it's great they got him back. It seems like that 60-day uh, IL stint was a little bit of kind of semantics because they wanted to rest him. So he looks geared up, ready to go. He's throwing 99. Tyone, shaky. Montas is, a, is an absolute joke. I mean, I was doing this bullshit where I was kind of like, oh, yeah, no, listen, Cashman kind of was playing chess. Uh... They wanted they wanted Castillo, but it was just too much. And Montas he throws well against the Rays and against the Strohs, and he was cheaper. And I mean, he's the sexy pick. He's he's good. I was completely wrong. He is a coward. He is a joke. He can't pitch in any situation. I don't know if the lights are a little too bright. I don't even know if it's his lingering shoulder. And if it was, then don't pitch, bro. Get get completely right before you come and have your debut. So that's a complete joke. Uh, but. Herman looks great. They they have four pitchers. They could throw out four pitchers in the playoffs, no problem. But the bullpen's the issue, so we're going to see. Who are you closing? Wandy's hurt right now. He does show balls, but, excuse me, he's not, he's not, uh, is he your closer, really? You know what I mean? Uh, F. Ross is too young, too, like, emotional, I feel like. I would never want him to close a game. Uh, Clay Holmes is just, is just unreliable. He's, it, what's weird is his stuff seems like it hasn't, diminished too much he's throwing his hardest sinker he's ever thrown his balls are breaking he's just leaving a lot of shit over the plate and and guys are driving it every time they play every time they face him it's it's getting it's getting really uh, like just annoying at this point watching him come in and just give up leadoff double after leadoff double giving up home runs it's it's just it's pathetic so uh forget about him chapman i already discussed uh, and then you're not going to throw a young kid. I mean, there's just really not not many options. So hopefully Britton uh, can do his thing if he if he's healthy. Uh, but other than that, I'm here for the ride. Uh, if anything else happens, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but if Judge does his thing and hits like 63, 64, 65 home runs this year, I'll be happy uh, because I mean this is the most excitement I've had on this team in a while. And I'm going to try. So today's Friday. Uh, I'm going to try not tomorrow, but if he doesn't hit uh, 61 uh, tonight, if he doesn't hit 61 tonight, I'm going to really try with, with all my might to f- <laughs> try with all my might. <laughs> what am I saying? I'm going to try very, very hard to get to the stadium for the seven o'clock game on Sunday night. Uh, ESPN, right? You got, you got a, and this is what the, this is what they should do. ESPN is now Joe Buck's territory. Put Joe Buck on the game. Like it's a Saturday afternoon, big time, prime time Yankees, Red Sox game. Let him call sixty one or sixty two. I mean, come on, what are we doing? Why do you sign? Uh, why do you sign Joe Buck if it's just for football? Give me a break. So, even dude, bring bring back Tim McCarver. Like get get Joe Buck and and Timmy. I mean, what are we doing? But 
I'm going to try very hard to get tickets. I want to get tickets above WB Mason in, in right field. Like, I'm talking about, like, Section 106 area, like, first five, seven rows. They might be pricey, but, again, you can't put a price on, and I haven't experienced it yet. Everyone's talking about right before the pitch, the stadium goes silent. Before the pitch, in general, everyone's on their feet. The cameras are flashing. And, and by the way, let me, let me leave off this video with this, this little clip with this. Just know, and I've been like this my whole life, not to, not to brag or boast or anything. I'll be a little humble, but I have never been. If I'm going to a show, if I'm going to a game, I'm watching the game. I'm not going to be one of these assholes that paid $300 for a good ticket and is now, and granted, I'm going to be in the outfield, so I'm not going to be close to the batter, but I'm not putting my phone in front of my face and watching the game and watching the at-bat through my phone. If I paid for those tickets and I view the judge home run, let's say it was 62, let's say he hit 61 tonight and then doesn't hit one on Saturday, and now he's got the uh, the uh, the opportunity to hit it on Sunday, if I'm going to watch that through my phone when it's right in front of me, I can go fuck myself. There's a million people around me that are going to have that video. It's going to be on TV. I'll see that, and it'll be documented forever. But you cannot put a price on seeing it and living in the moment and viewing it with your own eyes. And I've been like that forever. It's, it's a shame sometimes because some of the good moments I've had that aren't a, a nationally televised baseball game, like maybe a smaller concert or a fun time, at I don't know, like going out or whatever, I, I haven't recorded something, and it's a shame. But... Listen, it's the price I pay because you cannot, again, you cannot put a value on living in the moment and watching it. So I'm hoping Judge could do this at home with uh, with the Marises there and obviously with his, with his uh, whatever, his family there. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm super hyped. I'm super excited. So uh, before, I, before I end this video, I've been told to do this. I, I was given some advice for the seven subscribers that I have. I have to say this. Why don't you like the video? Why don't you subscribe? Why don't you hit the notification bell? And why don't you comment? Why not, why not comment? I think it's good for the algorithm, as they say. And uh, I'm hoping, listen, I'm throwing out some some fitness uh, information. I'll have a meal plan, like a, a very specific meal plan video coming soon. I'm going to be throwing out some just general pop culture shit. I'll just be sitting around talking, hanging out. And I'll be doing some Yankee stuff or some just greater sports stuff. So I'm going to be throwing a lot of content out. So the subscription, honestly, would be a good thing. Uh, I think it would be uh, well worth it, and uh, I'm excited about this whole YouTube thing. So signing off, and again, like and subscribe. Let's go Yankees.